And women in Nigeria have been encouraged to be assertive in playing their roles as mediators in reconciliation and peace building. This was the charge at a one-day symposium in Abuja to commemorate this year's International Day of Peace. TVC News Tujesu Adeoye reports. The victims of violent conflict in Nigeria are largely the most vulnerable groups, which are women, children, people with disabilities, and senior citizens. This year's celebration of the International Day of Peace sheds more light on actions that can be taken to mitigate conflict and encourage social tolerance. This symposium brings together women from all walks of life to celebrate their modest contributions to peace building and also strengthen the advocacy for women as peace mediators at every level. We must put value where value belongs and that is in the currency of our women and the demographic that they represent in our communities. Women have always been bottom bearers of terrorism, displacement, community clashes, banditry, and war. And it's become empirical to be deliberate about maintaining and mainstreaming women in the process of peace and thereby leading to national cohesion. Let us bear in mind that peace is not just mere absence of conflict. It is, it is the presence of justice, equity, and unity. Evidence from women in leadership and nation building. Women have been known to be more honest, neutral, great listeners, and have had to develop great communication when negotiating for domestic needs. And in leadership, they make great negotiators and mediators in modern leadership. They lead and manage huge conflicts without disastrous or catastrophic results. The UN General Assembly has declared this day a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire. However, achieving true peace entails much more than laying down arms. It requires the building of societies where all members feel that they can flourish and be treated equally, irrespective of their differences. Women are considered the key builders and natural mediators of the society, and they should be empowered and encouraged to assert their roles as mediators in peace building and reconciliation to mitigate conflict. Tijesu Adewi, News, Abuja.